Those of you who've been following me already know about the Plated Truth. Those of you who just are, are new sub subscribers and have discovered me, I have this Plated Truth. It's a plate. It has squares on it. And I put different lubricants on it, stick it outside, and see how well it protects the plate of truth, the steel. So in this test, we're on about two months now outside. I have on the plate of truth Lucas Gun Oil, Godzilla, Frog Lube, M Pro 7, and Rem Oil. So let's take a close look and see what we have. So in the following order, we have the Lucas. Gunzilla, Frog Lube, M Pro 7, and Rem Oil. And they're applied to these top squares. So here's what the Lucas looks like right there. And you can see, we'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. And you can see that the Lucas, there we go, does have some rust on it. Um, definitely expected, you know, after two months being outside. And it's been um, raining, freezing, snowing, sunny, um, full, vast <laughs> hit of weather. Um, all of these have gotten. Next is Godzilla, and Godzilla has more of a uh, tinge to it, a total kind of tinge. And I think that's because the product actually changed color, not because it rusted. We'll we'll wipe all these off and see what it looks like underneath here in a second. Okay, next is Frog Lube. Now, untouched Frog Lube looks the best. Next is M Pro 7. As you can see here, there is uh, what appears to be a, um, a little bit of discoloration and a, maybe a little bit of rust. Hard to tell. And last but not least, our Rem Oil, which again looks like it has quite a bit of rust. So next thing what I want to do is go ahead and just try to wipe these all off just a little bit. See what we have underneath. As you can see, you know, a lot of this dirt and whatever will just come right off and it's not really rust. It definitely makes it look a lot better. Okay, and last but not least, the Lucas. All right, you can see how all that nastiness there. I'm gonna go ahead and get one more paper towel just to do my best here to make this look good. All right, so where's my center here? There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look again. Lucas, my name is Lucas. <laughs> okay, I won't sing. You can see there's still just a little bit, little bit of a uh, pitting there going on, so it did not protect totally. Next is um, Godzilla. Now Godzilla did get a little bit of rust up near the top here. Um, I'm almost willing to discount that because you know the edges are probably a little uh, more subject to rust um, but you know counting the center here there seems to be some discoloration of the metal let me see if I could sort of zoom in just a little bit so you could see that just sort of like a discoloration kind of strange but um, really protected from uh, rust fairly good next is frog loop and <laughs> very surprisingly um, frog loop did a outstanding job no rust there next is m pro 7 where are you m pro 7 m pro 7 did a pretty good job well, let me take a look here from the top yeah looks pretty good i have to stick my head here to take a look it's hard to see all right and then last but not least our rem oil Go ahead and zoom in there, and you can see there is some rust there. So what's the verdict? What is the verdict? Well, I think the winner, the winners of the uh, two-month test here on which ones have done the best is the Frog Lube and the M Pro 7. Let me take a look here. 
Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Very, very impressive. I would have probably thought that the Lucas and the Gunzilla would probably would have done better. Um, Rem Oil did about as expected. You know, it's not a expensive uh, product. But, uh, you know, inside a safe where it is kept probably dry, you'll probably do fine. But Frog Lube, M Pro 7, thumbs up. Highly recommended here at the Gear Obsession channel.